Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. I want to show you a picture of a very beautiful place in Israel, the garden tomb where Jesus rose from the dead. And as we look at that, I want you to just listen to a verse as the, the video runs. Luke chapter 9, beginning with verse 21. And Jesus strictly charged and commanded them to tell this to no one, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And on the third day be raised. All right, now I want you to think with me a minute. How many times? Go through the Gospels and see how many times Jesus told the disciples, told his 12 apostles, they're going to kill me, and on the third day I'm going to rise again. But did you notice on the third day none of the disciples were sitting outside the tomb waiting for Jesus? They were all hiding? And every year I go to the garden tomb, I just sit there and I wonder, you know, why didn't the apostles listen to Jesus? Why weren't the apostles there and they could tell us the details of the, the look on the face of the soldiers when the angel came and rolled away the stone and just sat down on it in total sovereignty? But they weren't there. Why? Tragedy makes us forgetful. Let me say that again. Tragedy makes us forgetful. Watching the master suffer watching the skin ripped off of his back, watching his pain and agony as he walked the Via Della Rosa, watching his agony as they drove the nails in his hands and his feet and hung him on a cross, watching the agony, watching all of that tragedy, that hurts. And tragedy makes you forget the promises. Let me say that again. Tragedy makes you forget the promises. I want to challenge some of you today. God's made some beautiful promises to you. God has said some beautiful things to you. And you've just walked through hell and high water. I mean, <laughs> people can't even begin to understand how much you've been through lately and the pain and the sleepless nights. But I would challenge you. Has the tragedy that you have witnessed made you forgetful of the promise, just like with the apostles? Could I encourage you today to sit down and consciously remember the promises that God has made to you. Don't forget the promises.